Hey friends, welcome back for another episode. So this week I wanted to talk about time and time management and how to fit it all in for you busy women who watch these episodes. So I have 10, the top 10 ways that you can manage your time and I want to dig right in. Don't forget to go over and grab your free guide. It's in the in the notes up there, the link. Uh, so let's dig in, shall we? So my name is Rachel Williams, if we haven't met before. I'm passionate about helping busy women find routines that help them feel amazing, build their self-confidence. And um, today we're talking about time management. So number one, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna spend a week, grab yourself a little notebook, I have one right here, but grab yourself a little notebook and keep track of what you're spending your time on for a week and how much time. I know it sounds silly, but it's going to be so useful to you later on. Number two, identify your time sucks. The things that are sucking up all your time that's not really productive or going towards your goal. Then you're going to want to, number three is create your ideal schedule. So you're going to want to take it like a time blocker. Um, I use a week view and I block out time. So where you're going to spend your time, you want to um, make sure that you are blocking out time to invest in what's important to you. Um, so dates with yourself, you know, make sure you have your exercise in there, your date night, your me time, your family time, make sure it's all in there. Number four, you're going to schedule non-negotiable appointments with yourself. So you fill everybody's needs all the time. You need time for you. So you need to schedule yourself non-negotiable me time. So this could be working on business goals, fitness goals, could be going to the spa, go get a massage, go get a pedicure, um, take that class that you wanted to take, but non-negotiable time in your schedule for you. And then you're gonna want to anticipate interruption. So life happens, things happen, people get sick, deadlines come up, uh, deadlines change. So you wanna make sure that you're leaving what's called white space in your calendar to take care of those things. So don't fill up every second of your day. You're gonna want to have some white time so that you, if something comes up, you're able to move things around. You wanna plan your week. So you're gonna prepare your week's goals. Um, you're gonna schedule it out. You're gonna know what you're working on for the week. And then estimate, number seven is estimate how long projects are gonna last. So then, once you've estimated how much time you need, block that out for yourself. And number eight is use a timer. So track how long it actually takes you to complete a task. So do you have newsletters that you send out? Do you meal prep? Um, how long does it really take to clean the bathroom? Set yourself a timer so that you know exactly how much time it's taking. And then number nine is evaluate. So once you know how long it takes you, write it down next to your to-do list. So you've got your to-do list, you know how long things take you, so write down how much time you need to get that stuff done. And then number 10 and is important, it is minimize distractions. So make sure you're shutting off your ringer, make sure you're turning off your notifications. Um, when are you most productive? Is it the morning? Is it in the evening? Is it in the afternoon while the kids are sleeping, taking naps? Um, so evaluate, and I hope these were helpful. You know me, I always like to try to keep these under five minutes because I know you're busy. So until next week, stay ravishing and be kind to one another, and I'll see you again soon.